Now that we've completed our mid-esophageal view, we're ready to insert the probe further so that we can get the transgastric view. It's important sometimes to have a, um, a gauze at the bedside because this probe does become slippery sometimes from the, the lubricant that you use to insert the probe or from saliva. And so sometimes I have to wipe the probe off or either use it uh, to help me uh, turn the probe as we try to find a better position for the image. So I've brought the, the lever back into the neutral position. We don't want to insert the probe or move the probe when it's not in the pro, you know, neutral position. So I've got it in a neutral position now. And I'm ready to insert the probe into the distal esophagus. And at about 40 centimeters or so, I'll go through the GE junction. And then I'll know I'm ready to start looking for that left ventricle or the transgastric view. And really not too bad an image here of the, uh, of, of the left ventricle, but once I get in position and I start to see that movement or contraction, I'm going to anaflex, which is toward the back end of the handle, away from the probe. You see my thumb will move this direction and try to bring that left ventricle in. I'm really cupping that ventricle through the stomach, if you will, so that the ultrasound probe can be in contact with the heart through the diaphragm or through the stomach. And you can see here, I'm in good position. I've got good contraction of the left ventricle. I'm at the level of the papillary muscles. That's where we want to be so that we're consistent. Anytime we take a measurement or we look at our volume status, we want to make sure that we're always at the level of the papillary muscles so that we're comparing images. If we do an exam this hour, we give fluid. We do an exam again in another hour or a couple hours. We want to make sure that we're at the same cross-sectional area of that ventricle. So if there's been a change, we can pick up on that. Once I get the position that I want, I'm ready to optimize my image by hitting the optimizing button on, button on the screen. And then I'm ready to make my run. Again, I do that by depressing the blue button at the base of the handle here, which will give me a run. I want to do that at least a couple of times so that I make sure that I've got good image acquisition because we don't want to go back and have to repeat that once we've moved on. Likewise, here you see that the heart is in good position. It's right in the middle of the screen. But if it's not, if, if the heart, if the left ventricle is over to the side of the screen and I'm just not getting the entire image, again, I have two options. I can take my gauze, grasp the probe, and use my left hand here on the handle, and I can rotate that image right or left, depending on where I go clockwise or counterclockwise with the handle and the probe. If I'm not happy with that, I can also do it electronically by tapping on the screen and a blue arrow comes up. If I keep tapping that arrow, it will move the image to this direction or if I want to bring it back the other direction, I can move it this direction as well until I get the image exactly where I want it. 